Hi everybody, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com. Welcome to video 10 of the WordPress installation series where I'm going to show you how to use the one-click install method to install your WordPress site. So for this video, I'm on my Bluehost hosting account just so you see the different cPanel situations. In previous videos, I was in the HostGator account and though the appearance and the style is a little bit different, they both have pretty much the same content. So to do the one-click install, you want to first have your have bought a domain name, have added the have changed the name servers of that domain name to point to your hosting account, and have created the add-on domain inside your hosting account so that you have the directory for the website. You can see how to do that in the first few videos of the installation series. Once you have all of that set up, then you can use the one-click install to install WordPress. And to use the one-click install, all you have to do is scroll down to the one-click installs icon. Click on that. It will load a new page where you can install actually not just WordPress with one click, but you can install all kinds of stuff. So if you have a weekend to spend to go through and look at all this and research all these things and how they can benefit your site, I encourage you to do that. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to install WordPress. It's one of the first ones because it's one of the most popular ones. So we just click on WordPress. It gives a short description of what WordPress is, but we already know all that. We want to click on install up in the top right area. After clicking on install, we want to choose the domain where we want to install it. I created a subdomain just for the purposes of this, just because I'm going to install this and delete it right afterwards. From this drop down, you would choose the domain name that you want to install WordPress on. Choose it, click on check domain. So once it checks the domain, it gives you two more steps to do. You can show the advanced options where you can enter your site title, the user email address, and the admin password. And then you have to check that you've read the terms and conditions of the GPL version 2, which is a general public license that WordPress is built on. When you're all done, you can click install. You'll be taken to the next page where they have a progress bar on the installation process. And they say, hey, we're installing WordPress for you. You're going to need a theme. So then they try to sell you some themes down below. You may or may not have a theme already. Uh, but there's some great ones here. But there are also a lot of great free themes. And I encourage you to look at the free themes before you buy one. From my experience, people use a whole lot of different themes and on the very first theme, they don't really know what they want yet. They haven't played around with it enough to really understand what WordPress is capable of. So they often buy a theme that looks great and is inexpensive when they could have had pretty much the exact same thing for free. So I encourage you to check out the free ones before you go ahead and buy any of these, but that's up to you. Now the installation is complete. Sweet, the install is done, and that's it. You can close out of this, and then when we go to the, or you go to your domain name, I'll go to the one that I just made, and there it is. WordPress is installed with a one-click install. It's quick and easy. It's a little less secure because it chooses uh, database names based on a template which hackers know and can use to their advantage and your disadvantage. But other than that, there's not much wrong with one-click installs and if that's the way you want to go, I encourage you to do so. I hope this video served you. I hope you installed your WordPress site successfully. 
If you had some trouble along the way, leave a comment below this video explaining what your problem is and I'll do my best to help you install your site. Again, my name is Bjorn Alpass from WPLearningLab.com and I will see you in the next video where I'm going to show you how to create your own custom email address. Technically, it's not part of the installation series, but I think it's an important thing to do when you install your WordPress site. I'll see you there.